Previously, we explored San Pablo Lake during our weekend staycation in San Pablo, Laguna. And this time, we are going to explore the underworld in this hidden historic water tunnel in San Juan City. And before anything else, let me introduce myself. It's me again, the Wayner, your travel and lifestyle vlogger, giving you a list of your travel itineraries which you can truly enjoy. Also, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And follow my social media accounts and my online travel articles in Manila Bulletin Lifestyle. We're here at uh, Museo El Deposito in San Juan City and we're gonna check out this museum because this is just near our place in Mandaluyo and I always wanted to visit this place because of its historical value. Well, it's actually August right now. It's the rainy season or the monsoon months here in the Philippines and as we know, um, Manila or Metro Manila is really prone to flooding. But flooding is actually related to water. And of course, El Deposito actually means this is the reservoir where the, you know, during the Spanish colonial time, they are really um, placing more uh, of the waters. guys this is actually the water purifying system or the water filter back in all uh, during those days you know so according to this one it was actually used by the Rizal family which is actually our national hero so during the Spanish time when the water structures you know are not yet fully developed or the water infrastructures which is the source of drinking water of filipinos back in those old days you know it was really expensive uh for filipinos especially you know the the, the poor families or poor filipinos so but the spaniards decided to really uh, start this uh, water infrastructure or water waste so that the filipinos will have you know drinking water in metro manila but before that, uh, what they usually do is that in Pasig River, which is the well-known river here in Metro Manila, used to be the source of water. But of course, because of commerce, you know, because of the ships passing through Pasig River, they decided to, you know, uh, ensure that there is always a water filter in place.
now we're actually going to visit the El Deposito Tunnel. Okay, so they also have some hard hat, you know, for us to be very safe. So look at that. So look at that, guys. No, ito yung milinis. This was actually cleaned up by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and this is the water reservoir back in those old days and it's now a museum here in San Juan so we're now gonna explore this place okay so it serves as a museum of artifacts so nice that they were able to uh, clean this up and uh, for the new generation to really appreciate and I'm not sure if you're hearing that sound, but I think it's the air vents to make sure that, you know, the air quality in this water reservoir, this tunnel, is uh, good for people visiting or especially for local and foreign tourists. By the way, there's no entrance fee and it's a Sunday. It's open Sunday until 4 p.m. So, so these are some of the fountains before. Okay, that actually serves as the water uh, sources back in the old days. So now let's explore this uh, tunnel, okay, which is really huge as you can see so nice that uh, the Philippine government through the National Historical Commission decided to really restore this place so look at those massive ceiling okay and basically you're we're, there's a bridge and that's actually the you know the water reservoir This is so cool guys so if you have time don't forget to visit this place this is just in san juan city in metro manila okay and it's for free you know if you don't have anything to do um and it's raining you know and you wanted to do something really different you know why not check this out this place it's a museum and learn some history about the philippines how we started our water infrastructures, our drinking water. So it's so nice. Okay. So this is where the water are, are being deposited back in those old days in the Spanish colonial era. Uh, in fact, when we watch the uh, the video earlier, this was used during the Spanish time the american colonial era the japanese um uh, occupation and of course eventually it was actually forgotten because of the new modern ways of of uh, bringing water to our homes so it, the place you can actually walk in this bridge elevated bridge but it's so dark. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's actually a long way to go. You know? So this is really huge. It, it almost looks like a, a bunker. You know? If there's a zombie apocalypse, you can actually hide here. You know, obviously, you just need to make sure that, you know, <laughs> Um, they're safe. If there's war, you know, you can you can still use this. And this was actually reminds me of uh, the same, you know, reservoir in Japan that I saw in, in, in YouTube. Uh, so this is so nice. And, okay, so let me just adjust the camera so you can see how far it goes. So it was, it goes all the way there. So this is the source of the drinking water of Filipinos back in those old days, in the 1800s. So nice. So that 
that's where actually he went. So as you can see, it's quite different because if you go to that side, it's like at the end of the tunnel, you know. But at this side, of course, there's light at the end of the tunnel, literally. You know, this is actually the entrance going to this water reservoir, which is called the Museo El Deposito. You know, this is a very historical place. I strongly suggest you visit this on a weekend if you don't have any other things to do. This is a nice place just to learn history and of course, you know, uh, to appreciate our museum, especially during this rainy season where we can actually go outdoor. This is another way for you to explore and enjoy your weekend with your friends, with your family. So nice. So a bit of a history for you guys. So guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe. And tell me what you think about this museum. If you actually enjoyed it, and if you want me to feature more museum here in Metro Manila, or outside Metro Manila perhaps. So, we had a good day here at Museo El Deposito, and I hope you like the video.